Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Pumpkin Seeds from Aesop Rock and Blockhead featuring Lupe Fiasco and this was suggested by Kufuku Ice over in the Discord. Thank you Kufuku for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below guys and if you're interested in joining the Discord, check out the link in the description to the No Shoes Gang Buy Me a Coffee. It's a dollar a month for Discord access and extra content. I mean, it it could only be a couple cents cheaper. Let's get real about it. But without any further ado, let's get right in and let's see what Pumpkin Seeds is all about. Let's see what Aesop, Blockhead, and Lupe got for us. I'm super excited to give this a listen. Let's get it. So we've got kind of like a mysterious, noir, <clears throat> and ethereal type vibe to it. We got this kind of, uh, what's the word, like swelling synth in the back of the beat. Okay, interesting. So the sun has risen. It is a new day, brothers, and it is a pumpkin. <laughs> this looks like some messed up Minecraft mod for real. But nah, that's funny. I like it. Let's bring it back a little bit. We got Aesop coming in quiet. He's within the beat, not on top of it. And his voice is still coming through very clear. But you gotta listen a little bit closer for it. Something loveless digging holes to cover up with leaves. Between you and your pumpkin seeds and power bowl and sunk his peach at 1 or 1 15 a.m. when all you want is drugs and peace. All you get is waves and waves of uninvited company. Ranger, clever, hunter, thief, druid, vandal, huckster, priest, amateur, usurpers, and cat. Okay, interesting. So we're getting these, um, they're, they're kind of like run on sentence flows but with Aesop's unique twist on it of course you know i'm used to hearing the run on sentence type of energy from like a an earl sweatshirt or a bill waves or somebody along those lines and we're getting Aesop's unique perspective on that right now waves and waves of uninvited company ranger clever hunter thief and honestly with Aesop's time in the game it's very possible earl and bill were inspired by him for those type of flows, just to add that in. Company, Ranger, Cleric, Hunter, Thief, Druid, Vandal, Huckster, Priest, Amateur. Okay, Ranger, Cleric, Hunter, Thief. So it sounds like we're talking a little bit about some like D&D &D classes, the different characters you meet throughout your life. Vandal, Huckster, Priest, Amateur, Usurpers, and Catechism, Deserters, Retoning, Trouble, Pignosis, The Catalytic Converters, In Between the Stirring Creatures, I'm keen to the furthest needle drop, Something I always love about Aesop's tracks is he has really mastered that transition without a complete, without completing the rhyme chain before. Like, it feels complete, but not because he had that last rhyme it needed, but because of the way he changes the pace before moving in to the next rhyme scheme. And it's very artful, it keeps you on your toes, and just got a nice fresh feel to it. Dog, dog, the truest unicorn of all is human at rest. Walking through some hood, the future forgets. I've just been cooped up in that cocoa's nest. One phase up and complaining, which depending on your frame is apathy or acclimating, happy cutting off and jumping in and yelling. Yo, a nice change of the beat. We're getting this slightly syncopated bells going on up in the top. Kind of like synthetic bells, too. It reminds me of like a xylophone or a marimba, but there's a slightly different quality to the sound. Happy cutting off and jumping in and yelling, someone shut the top. It isn't just some fun and run that got him when I cut the lock. It's inside. And there's a real nice bounce to it. 
a little bit of a swing, maybe a slight shuffle, if you will, but it's just barely there, but it adds that little bit of twang to it. I'm on that cut the lock, it's inside the box, just another box, inside the box, just another box, you should probably get accustomed. Yo, that sounds like Crispin with my granddad, bruh, inside the box is just another box. I remember one time I got like four boxes deep and I still wasn't even at what was inside, but I'm sure this is much more deep than just that, but either way, the way the um the reverb comes in around his voice here and really just opens up this space and we're hearing these echoes coming from the side it just kind of places us in the room with Aesop while he's spitting this Box, you should probably get accustomed to the culture shock plots to jump behind some bushes when they call the flock inside of the box is just another box inside of the box is just another box you should probably get some wind up in your mutton chops note the jambal tone is get the dough and fuck the ox wind up in your mutton chops nice rhyme and nice syllable matching with inside the box is just another box great man and then lupe just peeked in his first little couple words there Let's see where he comes in now. The ox. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Pandora has a Pandora. Shorter, shorter like a daughter. In the core of her, there is more of her. Is he saying Pandora got like a Pandora bracelet? That would be funny, man. That's funny. One of my friends is actually nicknamed pandora gonna be seeing her later pandora has a pandora shorter sort of like a daughter in the core of her there is more of her each subsequent layer has an inner and the orbiter corridor after corridor a never-ending meta narrative that forever cabbages inside yo love the slight accent that he's hitting these bars with corridor after corridor it almost sounds like he'd be saying quarter or a bunch of different words, but sounds like we just going down the halls. There's this continuous, monotonous nature to the space and the energy that they are traveling through in this song. Meant to narrative that forever cabbages inside of your word salad sandwiches a form of moral beef. I don't call them Hey, inside your word salad sandwiches, bro. It's especially hold up as especially after he went from meta narrative to cabbages as the rhyme great way to just you know almost like call yourself out but then you know listening to this i always assume in an a stop track that there's just more to it than i'm grasping on the first listen because with most tracks that's the case there's very few tracks that I think anybody can ever listen to and just understand it straight up to bottom first listen. But that's funny. That's a nice little uh a little tongue in cheek comment there, maybe. Which is a form of moral beef. I don't call them teeth, I call them oral coral reefs. Let them sink, it's still in sink. The more you pry, you find another five high in the side like a denied ride across the border. Multiplies your strictest card is out running you in the hoarder. The more you excavate it, the more absorber can't all enforce a mario car into a forza obscure your speed limit and then record your porsche report to court mortars and this song really just illustrates a lot of things that like i want to improve on in myself in the way i create music because they hit these flows where they just you know for uh, like four bars maybe they just rap relentlessly against the beat just pushing against it not really trying to hit on any certain part of the uh the how do we put it like if you're looking at a sheet of music right you got and let's say this song is in four four just for example in ease of explanation's sake we got those four bars and let you know we got our little stanza that's one grouping of four notes it feels like they're not really worried about trying to match up with like the one and the three or the two and the four the one two three and four whatever it is 
it feels like they're just hitting like one and the one and a half and the two and then the two and three quarters and they're just pushing and pushing and pushing until they get to that last bar and they finally line up again and everything comes back to unity and it's a uh, it's it's really beautiful and very chaotic at the same time Reports to court more than Zha Zha Gabor, divorce lawyer. According to my foyer, Spitfire sword drank in the speakeasy room. I like that lawyer and foyer. That's a great rhyme there. Weird words too, right? Fire sword drank in the speakeasy road, peace treaties and war pain, huh? Inside of the box is just another shoe. Inside of the sock is just another tube. You can put it on if your foot is long, if you find inside of the box is just another shoe inside of the sock is just another tube tube socks this is interesting so now we're diving in a little bit we got through excuse me we got through all the boxes what's in the shoe what's in the sock dawn if your foot is long if you find the lost legs of my journeys tell them i'm looking for them huh? inside of the box just another box inside of the box just another box the general tone is and the way their voices layer there opened up with that reverb we're really just getting a progressive build of energy <clears throat> consistently throughout this track Box. The general tone is what it is, is what it's not. Don't be a fool, you lucky shot. I rick the wheels, go gut the slots. And we got this dissonant, it's I want to say a horn. It gives me like like a trombone vibe almost like da, 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 just going down back up down back up down back up just this like progressive walking through the beat this sauntering through the city streets under the pumpkin seed sun if you will <laughs> clean and nice cut off that was beautiful again thank you to kufuku ice for the suggestion keep them coming in the comments down below if you want to join the discord and get extra content check out the buy me a coffee it's only a dollar a month guys how much cheaper could it be but thank you to everybody in the no shoes gang much love to all of you guys don't forget to hit like hit subscribe and hit that bell it really does help out and i will see you all next time